made possible by 343 Studios. Hey everybody, what's going on? Nathan 343 here. We are back. There's a set of keys on my desk that we don't need right now. But what we do need is for you to check these cool computer speakers out. Now this is from a company called Jico, I believe is how you say it. J-E-E-C-O-O, Jico. Geo, G, Gico. That's what I'm going with, Gico. I think I called it Jericho last time, but these are some really cool speakers. These are the M20s. These have just been brandly new released. Uh, we did some speakers for them not too long ago. Now, these are not only speakers, this is technically a sound bar, too. You can connect these speakers and make one bar across the front. And they are Bluetooth, I believe. So you can Bluetooth these, which my computer does have Bluetooth. If I remember how to set them up, because the speakers I have now are Bluetooth. Let's go ahead, crack these things open, and see what's in the box. And again, thank you to Gico for sending these over. As you can see today, I am wearing my Daily Hustle t-shirt. I got this from Chaunce Daily Hustle. If you haven't checked his channel out, go check him out. I think he's got a few of them. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. This came in a different box too. Looks like there is some cabling. Very, very light speakers and an instructional booklet. The box is a little bit damaged. That's probably just from shipping. It is red, green, blue, as it says right here. I can show you the box. Those of here that you can have them separated or as one speaker. All right, so we've got the user manual. Let me figure out how you got a little tape on them here. Slide the bubble wrap off of them. These are very light speakers. They don't seem to have much weight to them. So, two little speakers. You can use them. I can figure it out here. That would be like this. You could use them like this, or you could use them for a. And I, what you do is it's got a little tongue and groove system here. I don't know if you can see that, but see there's a little bit of a groove there. And this one has kind of the female end. So you would just take it, slide it together. <clears throat> now you've got one big speaker. Now, how long is this? We'll measure it here in just a few and I'll let you know. Cables are out the back. Does it come apart real easy? Not so well, <laughs> no, they're in there. So I'll probably leave this as a, as a speaker. Um, it's got uh, grommets on the back that make the cabling really good. It looks like it has a USB and that's pretty much it. Um, it does have lights, I believe in here. So I'm only seeing, there might be a tweeter up here in the top, but I'm only seeing one speaker here and one speaker here. Um, I'm trying to see how these would separate, but they don't really want to separate <laughs> once you get them together. I'm sure they will, but uh, I want to use them as a sound bar. It'd be cool if they'd make this have little screws on the back so you could mount these on a wall if you wanted to. But let's go try this out. Okay, so we went ahead and hooked these guys up. I did manage to get them pulled back apart to where they are not together. One thing I do exactly fade really slow. I um, guess I didn't notice that. They're, they're doing it so slowly you can't exactly tell that they're fading, but they are. So you take the button here and you tap it and that changes the color. So now we're blue. Now it's fading. So it does have a, a color fade, very, very slow color fade to it. I'll go ahead and turn the rest of the studio lights off here so you can see that maybe a little bit better. It does have kind of a uh, mesh, mesh look to it. Okay, so then we'll touch it again. It goes to red. What does it do from red? It doesn't seem to do anything other than stay on red so far. Looks like we have a red then, your blue, let's 
seems to be staying on blue. So you have the screen, then you have this little deal here. Of course, I'm gonna let you hear what these sound like together and separate. On your USB, this is what it's going to show. If I can get the camera to zoom, so that's what you're looking for. Jericho M20. Play a little bit of uh, some gaming sounds so you can hear what the gaming sounds sound like it and then maybe uh, a little bit of music. Good north, the sign's in there. Get posted or hand. 7-6, hit that building, but jump level it. Kilo-1, call for fire. Target is in the building ahead of us. Do not level the building. So very loud. Uh, they sound pretty good. They do really sound really, really good. I do like them. So from here to here, when they're standing up, they're a little less than two and a half inches wide. Um, and then this is 16 inches long. So this speaker truly is a really cool speaker. It's not a high-end speaker by no means, but it is a cool speaker for children and um, you know little gaming setups for kids. Uh, you're not going to break the bank with this. Uh, it does have some pretty cool lighting features on it. It has solid mode, changing modes. You can leave it as a sound bar or you can make it a uh, just two individual speakers to save room uh, or however you want to do it. Would be cool for them to make a little deal so you could mount it to a you know a wall or a, something and ever to keep it up off the desk. I think that's very cool. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Link in the description. See you in the next one.